Looking for ideas on how to make your sink shine? Well, in this video, I'll be sharing tips on how I use the Fly Lady cleaning system to make my sink sparkle. Keep watching. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women how to make wise home health and beauty decisions so there's less chaos in their homes, they lead healthier lives, and they feel beautiful from the inside out. And today, we're tackling the chaos that can come along with the kitchen sink. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn more about running a household, planning, health, and beauty, then subscribe. But definitely check out the show notes and hit the links below because you'll find information in there about all the products I'm using in today's video. It's day four of 31 days of spring cleaning. And this time we're starting a new week and a new zone to the kitchen. Fly Lady believes that a clean house starts with a clean and shiny sink. So today we're going to be cleaning my sink. She has a specific process that she follows and I'll share that with you. So let's get started. Here are the things that I'll be using. Clorox. I need a cup of Clorox a little scrubbing pad. I need a sharp edge tool, so I'm using a wooden um, toothpick, but if you have a skewer or something like that or something else that's sharp edge, you can use that. Barkeeper's Friend, Windex, a pair of gloves, and a toothbrush, and a timer so I can keep track of the time. Now you're probably wondering, what is she gonna do with all of that stuff? Well, I'm gonna fill the sink to the rim with water. I'm gonna add a cup of bleach. I'm gonna let it sit for an hour, which is why I have the timer. Once the timer goes off, I'm going to drain the sink and then scrub it out with the barkeeper's friend. I'll use some Windex to shine it up and I'll use the toothpick to clean out any little crevices around there and also to clean the joints. So, let me go ahead and just get that started. So I've got both things filled with water and I put one cup of bleach in each one and I forgot how much it bubbles when you put the water in and the bleach in at the same time. So notice on this one, I don't have the bubbles that I got on this one. I forgot about that when I started running that in. One other good thing that I learned from doing this method is that I don't have problems with mold in my garbage disposal like I used to have. When you run this sink full of bleach, once you let all that bleach water out, it just really helps to clean out that garbage disposal as well. So that's another nice plus. So now I'm gonna let this sit for an hour. And we'll come back. So my timer went off. Now I'm going to rinse the sink out. The reason why it's important to rinse the sink out, you want to make sure you rinse all the bleach out so that if you add any other products to clean, you won't, don't want to set off any chemical reactions. Now let's add the Barkeep's Friend. Now 
I use Barkeep's friend, but you can use Ajax, you can use Comet. Some say that Ajax and Comet might be a little bit more abrasive, and the Barkeep's friend, since it's for stainless steel sinks and things like that, are a little bit, it's more friendly to them. Or you could use baking soda or vinegar. And then I've got a little scrubber sponge that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to scrub this out. And I clean my sink every day, but I don't do this process every day. I only do this process about once every six months. But every night, as part of my after dinner routine, I clean the sink out after I finish the dishes or whatever. I clean it out and then I dry it out with a dry towel and I leave out a fresh dishcloth and dish towel. Fly Lady believes that a clean house starts with a shiny sink and it's really amazing how catching that can be. I really embrace the need for or embrace the need for a clean and shiny sink. So I do this about once every six months and the first day or the first week of spring cleaning is a good time to do it and get it, get it started. And then just maintain it. I'll pick up some of this from here and I'll clean around the faucet base with this toothbrush. I really like to clean the faucet well too because sometimes depending upon the time of the year it is and my husband's been doing a lot of fishing or whatever sometimes there's fish juice on his hands and this faucet can feel a little sticky even though he does clean it off sometimes his idea of cleaning and my idea of cleaning is two different things Then you take your little skewer or toothbrush or whatever sharp instrument you have and you can clean around these edges here and you're not trying to scrape up the caulk or anything like that but sometimes you can see where debris collects under there just from day to day stuff so okay let's rinse it out dried out or wiped out nicely I should say. Now I'll take a dry towel and dry it out. Now take the Windex and shine it up. And here's my nice, shiny sink. Now here's a question for you. What tips do you have on how to keep a kitchen sink clean and shiny? Sometimes the best ideas come from right here in the TNT community. So tell us about it in the comments section below. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. If you like plan with me, cook with me, clean with me, laundry with me, and anything related to running the household and the health and beauty, you'll like what we do on this channel. And I would love to have you as a part of the TNT community. But in the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow for another day of spring cleaning.